Hello everyone, my name is Visalna. In this video, I'll be explaining on Invictus, that is Indole Methyl Red Vagus Prosker Citrate Utilization Test. Coming first to the Indole Test, the Indole Test is a biochemical test performed on bacterial species to determine the ability of the organism to convert tryptophan into Indole. This division is performed by a chain of a number of different intracellular enzymes, a system generally referred to as tryptophanase. This test demonstrates the ability of certain bacteria to decompose the amino acid tryptophan to Indole, which accumulates in the medium. Indole production test is important in the identification of enterobacteria C. Most strains of E. coli produce vulgaris and providencia species break down the amino acid tryptophan with the release of indole. This is performed by a chain of a number of different intracellular enzymes, a system generally referred to as tryptophanase. It is used as part of the Invic procedures, a test designed to distinguish among members of the family and their obituary. A variation of this test using Ehrlich reagents in place of isomyl alcohol developed by Paul Ehrlich is used when performing the test of, of on non-fermenters and anaerobes. The aim of this test is to perform indole tests in a given bacterial culture. The principle of this test is tryptophan is an amino acid that can undergo deamination and hydrolysis of bacteria that express tryptophanase enzyme. Indole is generated by reductive deamination from tryptophan via the intermediate molecule ion indole pyruvic acid. Tryptophanase catalyzes the deamination reaction during which the amine group of the tryptophan molecule is removed. Final products of the reaction are indole, pyruvic acid, ammonium, and energy. Pyridoxyl phosphate is required as a coenzyme. When indole is combined with Covax reagent, which is the indole reagent, which contains hydrochloric acid and p-dimethyl aminobenzaldehyde in amyl alcohol, the solution turns from yellow to cherry red. Because amyl alcohol is not water soluble, the red coloration will form in an oily layer at the top of the broad. Requirements of the test are bacterial suspension or bacterial inoculum of your specimen, then COVAX reagent, pepton water broth or tryptophan broth, inoculating loop and incubator. The procedure of the test is first take the sterilized test tube containing 4 ml of tryptophan broth or the pepton water broth, inoculate the tube aseptically by taking the growth from 18 to 24 hours culture using a sterilized inoculating loop by flaming on the spirit lamp. After you have sterilized the inoculating loop from the spirit lamp, then using the inoculating loop after it gets cooled, dip it inside the bacterial suspension yeah, which you have prepared of your test specimen, then inoculate it into the tryptophan broth and then incubate it at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 to 28 hours. And then after which you uh, add the COVAX reagent about 0.5 ml of the reagent to the broad culture and observe for the presence or absence of color ring. A ring, red ring color will be formed on addition of the COVAX reagent. Coming to the observation and interpretation, in case of positive, there will be formation of pink to red color, a cherry red ring in the reagent layer on top of the medium with, within second of adding the reagent. Examples are E. coli, bacillus, hemophilus influenza, klebsiella oxytoca, proteus, and so on. And then in case of negative, there won't be any color change or no color change even after the addition of the appropriate reagent or the COVAX reagent. Examples are Klebsiella, Eromonas, 
alkaligens and most bacillus bordetella enterobacter lactobacillus species and most hemophilus species coming to the uses it is used to differentiate produce mirabilis which are indole negative from all other produce species which are indole positive and then it is also used to differentiate Klebsiella pneumoniae which is indole negative from other Klebsiella oxytoca which is indole positive it is also used to differentiate citrobacter frudi which is indole negative from citrobacter coseri which is indole positive Quality control of this indole test is, in case of positive control, it is Escherichia coli. In case of negative control, it is produced mirabilis. Limitation of this test, it includes first, additional biochemical testing using pure culture is recommended for complete identification. COVAC indole reagent is not recommended for use with anaerobic bacteria because the indole soft reagent is more suitable for anaerobic use. Such peptones have been shown to vary with regard to the susceptible suitability for use with indole testing. Media selected for indole determination should be tested with non-positive and negative organisms to ensure suitability. Media containing glucose should not be used for indole testing due to the formation of acid and products which have been shown to reduce indole production. Muller Hinton agar should also not be used for this test because tryptophan is destroyed during uh, acid hydrolysis of casein. Next, media containing dye such as McConkey and EMB are suit unsuitable sources of inoculum due to possible carryover of dye and subsequent interference of indole color interpretation. Indole positive colonies have been reported to cause adjacent indole negative colonies to appear false positive due to diffusion of indole into the media. To avoid false positives such colonies to do of different morphologies that are separated by at least 5 mm for indole testing. Next coming to the methyl red test. The methyl red test detects the production of sufficient acid during the formation of glucose and maintenance of conditions such that the pH of an oil culture is sustained below a value of about 4.5 in the color of the methyl red indicator which is at the, at the end of the period of incubation. Cleric and gloves develop MRVP broth which is allowed both the MR and VP tests to be performed from the same inoculum medium by aliquoting portions to different tubes. Principle of the test is some bacteria have the ability to utilize glucose and convert it to a suitable acid like lactic acid, acetic acid or formic acid as the end product. These bacteria initially metabolize glucose to pyruvic acid which is further metabolized through the mixed acid pathway to produce the stable acid. The type of acid produced differs from species to species and depends on the specific enzymatic pathway present in the bacteria. The acid so produced decreases the pH to 4.5 or below which is indicated by a change in the color of methyl red from yellow to red. In the methyl red test, the test bacteria is grown in a broad medium containing glucose. If the bacteria has the ability to utilize glucose with production of a stable acid, the color of the methyl red changes from yellow to red when added into the broad culture. The mixed acid pathway gives 4 moles of acidic products, 1 mole of neutral fermentation product, and one mole of carbon dioxide and one mole of hydrogen per mole of glucose fermented. The large quantity of acid produced causes a significant decrease in the pH of the culture media. Media and reagents which are used for this methyl red test are the media uses MRVP broad. In this, the ingredients per liter of deinos water contains buffer peptone glucose potassium phosphate. 
and in case of the reagent which is used is methyl red solution which is 0.02 percent it contains about 0.1 gram of methyl red in 300 ml of ethyl alcohol 95 percent and then adding about sufficient amount of distilled water to make it 500 ml and then these are stored at 4 to 8 degrees celsius in a brown bottle solution is stable for about one year procedure of the test is sterilize the inoculating loop by flaming on the spirit lamp and then dip it inside the bacterial suspension or your test sample and then inoculate into inside the mrvp broad or you can take a clean dropper take a few drop of the bacterial suspension and dispense it on the mrvp broad and then incubate this at 37 degrees celsius for about 18 to 24 hours after which you have to add the reagent which is methyl red reagents two to three drops of uh, methyl red indicator to the growth and then observe for the color change and in coming to the observation and result interpretation if it is mr positive then it will produce red color you will be able to see the formation of red color when the culture medium turns red color the addition of metal red because of a ph at or below 4.5 from the fermentation of glucose example are e coli in case of mr negative when the culture medium remains yellow which occurs when less acid is produced but the pH is higher from the fermentation of glucose example are Klebsiella pneumoniae. The uses of this test is originally the paired MRVP tests were used to distinguish between members of the family enterobacteria but now they are used to characterize other groups of bacteria including actinobacteria. Quality control of this MR, MR tests are in case of MR negative, Klebsiella pneumoniae, in case of MR positive, Escherichia coli. Limitation of this MR test is it is recommended that further biochemical tests be performed on pure culture for complete identification. The methyl red test must not be performed unless the medium has been incubated for a minimum of 48 hours. Tests that are not run too early may result in false positive interpretation. It is important that a light inoculum be used. If an inoculum is too heavy, bacterial growth may be inhibited and result is invalid test result. Incubation period for up to 5 days may be necessary for metal red tests. Coming next to the Vogel's Prosker test, it is a test used to detect acetone in a bacterial broad culture. The test is performed by adding alpha naphthol and potassium hydroxide to the Vogel's Prosker broad, which has been inoculated with bacteria. Vogel's and Prosker in 19, 1898 first observed the production of a red color after the addition of potassium hydroxide to culture grown on specific media. Harden later revealed that the development of the red culture was a result of acetyl methyl carbonyl production. In 1936, Berit made the test more sensitive by adding alpha naphthol to the medium before adding potassium hydroxide. Principle of the test is the Vogel's Prosker test is used to determine if an organism produces acetyl methyl carbonyl from glucose fermentation. If present, acetyl methyl carbonyl is converted to diacetyl in the presence of alpha naphthol, strong alkali, and atmospheric oxygen. The alpha naphthol was not part of the original procedure but was found to act as a cook as a color intensifier by buried and must be added first. The diacetyl quantitin containing compounds found in the peptones of the broad then condenses to form a pinkish red polymer. The media and reagents used are in case of media, MRVP broad is used which contains buffered peptone, glucose and dipotassium phosphate in distilled water. 
and then the reagents used are of two reagents which is alpha neftol and potassium hydroxide alpha neftol contains alpha alpha 5 gram absolute ethyl alcohol in 100 ml and potassium hydroxide which is of 40 percent which contains potassium hydroxide and distilled water coming to the procedure sterilize the inoculating loop by flaming on the spirit lamp and then dip it inside your bacterial suspension which you have prepared and then inoculate into the mrbp broth or you can take that you can take by uh, taking the pasture pipette and then picking up a few drops from the bacterial suspension and dispense it on the mrvp broth and then incubate it in an incubator for about 24 hours and then after the incubation at about 0.6 ml of 5% alpha neftol followed by 0.2 ml of 40% potassium hydroxide it is essential that the reagent be added in this order shake the tube gently to expose the medium to atmospheric oxygen and allow the tube to remain undisturbed for about 10 to 15 minutes observe for a pink red color at the surface within 30 minutes shake the tube vigorously during the 30 minute period coming to the result interpretation and observation in case of positive, a pink red color at the surface will be seen. Example, Klebsiella. In case of negative, a lack of red pink color will be seen. Example is E. coli. Quality control of this test is in case of VP positive, enterobacter aerogenes can be used. In case of VP negative, Escherichia coli. Limitation of the test is result of VP test need to be used in conjunction with other biochemical tests to differentiate genus and species within the enterobacteria. VP reagents must be added in the order and the amount specified or a weak positive or false negative reaction may occur. A weak positive reaction may be marked by a copper-like color which may form due to the reaction of potassium hydroxide and alpha neftol. Read a VP test within one hour of adding the reagents. The potassium hydroxide and alpha neftol may react to form a copper-like color causing a potential false positive interpretation. Some organisms destroy acetone thereby rendering the MVP test invalid. Shaking the tube enhances the VP reaction. Next coming to the citrate utilization test. Citrate utilization test it is also done to differentiate gram negative bacteria. And then here citrate agar is used to test an organism's ability to utilize citrate as a source of energy. The medium contains citrate as a source of, of carbon source and inorganic ammonium salt as the sole source of nitrogen. Bacteria that can grow on this medium produces an enzyme citrate permease capable of converting citrate to pyruvate. Pyruvate can then enter the organism's metabolic cycle for the production of energy. When the bacteria metabolize citrate, the ammonium salts are broken down to ammonia, which increases alkalinity. The shift in pH turns the bromothymol blue indicator in the medium from green to blue. Bacteria that can grow on this medium produce an enzyme citrate permease capable of converting citrate to pyruvate. Pyruvate can then enter the organism's metabolic cycle for the production of energy. Bacteria capable of growth in this medium use the citrate and convert ammonium phosphate to ammonium and ammonium hydroxide, creating an alkaline pH. The pH change turns the bromothymol blue indicator from green to blue. The media which is used for this test is Simon citrate agar, which contains about bromothymol blue as the indicator coming to the procedure first sterilize the inoculating loop by flaming on the spirit lamp then touch the tip of the or few colonies of the specimen on the culture media and then streak it on the slant of the citrate agar 
and then cover it and incubate at in the incubator for about seven days at about 35 to 37 degrees celsius and then observe for growth and the development of blue color denoting alkalization result interpretation of citrate utilization test is in case of positive you will see growth with color change from green to intense blue along the slant. Example are Salmonella and Klebsiella. In case of negative uh, interpretation, no growth or no color change will be seen and in the slant and remains green. Example is coli and Shigella. Coming to the limitation of the citrate utilization test, some organisms are capable of growth on citrate and do not produce a color change. Growth is considered a positive citrate utilization test even in the absence of a color change. Quality control of the test is, in case of positive, enterobacter aerogenes, in case of negative, Escherichia coli.